We have some very special guests on campus, obviously, for this weekend. And uh, we've set aside some time. Uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter, his wife Beth, uh, son Leland, and daughter Baby Lisa are here to spend some time with you. Uh, what inspires me is, of course, the children. I'm a father of 12. I know. And, uh, you know, I could never imagine not going to my mom and dad to ask them a question. So, someone that doesn't maybe have a natural mom and dad, and I heard about Moose Heart years ago, mm -hmm. and I thought, if I ever make it in life, I'm going to be, one of the things I do, I'm going to do is to go visit children and try to make them happy. So, I have been alone in my life, and I know what that feels like also. I have felt death in my family and pain, and I don't like little kids to be able to do that. So whatever I can do to the last breath I take, I'm yeah. going to make it a better world for children. Yeah. It's really true, too. Oh, it's no, I, I believe. I don't. Um, now, you're really a famous guy. Do you ever get your cover blown when you go to do a bounty hunt and people say, that's Dog the Bounty Hunter? People well, know who uh, you are? No, but they're saying, you know, I watched you last night on television. Oh, yeah. Do you have a cigarette and is it time for my speech? Ah, <laughs> and the give guy's speeches? like, oh, I give, I give my speech. Yeah. You know, in the back oh, of the right, car. right, right. And of course. One guy I put in the other day, we didn't have time to get to the jail. And he's like, brother, go, where's my speech? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, stop a minute. And I talk to him. So I think they, you know, they expect to get arrested because you know, right. you can't go forever. It's like when your license expires yeah. or your tag expires, you try it, right? But you know, oh, when the cop pulls you over, like, oh my God, I know why. Um, why can I help you, officer? Yes, you have an expired tag. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, so they know they're busted, you know, yeah. only on yeah. a larger, grander scale. Yeah. So have you been able to talk and hear yeah. stories of the kids today and they've been able to tell you stories and you've been able to tell them stories today? The kids have uh, are just like any other kids. Yeah. You know? People expect that because of the situation, they might be a little sad or, or a little misfortunate. I see none really? of that at all. I, see, right. I feel love. I feel uh, wonder. Yeah. Like I wonder what, who he really is. I wonder. What was, yeah, what were the kids saying oh, about the badge? Were, like, they love that. Mm -hmm. you know, I should have brought more of my toys. I think oh, I brought yeah. tonight because they're like, what do you do with that? What do you do with that? They're very inquisitive. The yeah. younger ones are more inquisitive, of course, than the older because the older have tried to already yeah. want it. At least, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor, a lawyer, I heard, a football player, yeah. a coach, a cook. And the kids are trying, the younger ones, trying to figure out what they want to be. So I think. Totally. So it's amazing that. If I can hold a conversation with the six and seven year olds as much as I can the 16 and 17 year olds. I search for bad guys that have broken the law, okay? Like murder or burglary or assault and then I wait like hide behind trees and bushes and I wait until they walk out of a house or somewhere and then I grab them. I have to try track them and then put cuffs on them, take them into jail. Then once I do I get this receipt. Receipt from dog Billy and then I go to the guy and I say here pay me and he pays me for grabbing the guy. 